Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, another worst to best video for today. This one's going to be doing what are the worst to best groups of villains in The Walking Dead series. <laughs> This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing another suggested video for today. This one's going to be doing what is the worst to best groups of villains in the Walking Dead series. So uh, this one was highly suggested. Some people uh, really wanted to see what are my worst to best, uh, you know, uh, villains group. Uh, what are my favorite to least favorite villains of the Walking Dead groups? Now, we've had a lot of villains. The Walking Dead have had a lot of villains. However, I'm really narrowing it down in this video to really just the forefront villains that made an impact. So if there's a villain villain that you don't see on this list or a villain that you know that's you know not included in this video at all that is because it's not a villain group or a kind of a villain that stood out enough uh, for me to include them in this list. So we're really just including like main villain groups in this video. That is mainly what we're going to be doing. So uh, definitely really cool stuff guys and if you have any other kind of top 10 or worst to best suggestions definitely let me know. But Aside from that, let's get into the videos. So starting off with my least favorite villains. So my least favorite group of villains is going to go to the hospital. So um, I just don't like this group at all. Grady Memorial Hospital group. I mean, what a weird storyline this was. Um, honestly, and it's it's probably one of the most hated storylines The Walking Dead has ever done. Right up there with the junkyard, right up there with, um, you know, parts of Oceanside at least, you know, with Swear and some of those episodes. Uh, but Grady Memorial, it's just, it's not a good location and it's not a gr good group of villains. It's like they try to redeem Dawn, but then they try to make her a villain at the same time. And it's like they didn't know what to do with her, and they didn't know how to, like, play off her character and what she's supposed to come off as. So I'm just, I don't know. And then the whole thing with Beth, um, it's just weird. It's it's a really weird storyline. Dawn as a villain, I just don't understand. And honestly, I don't understand their logic either. Like, you just capture people, and then you make them do all this work for you. For what? The world is over. And I know Dawn's like delusional and she's just like, she's like, oh, well, this is going to be like some kind of like big, like, you know, oh, like the, the world's going to go back to how it was. Don't worry, Beth, you're here for a reason. Um, that's ridiculous, honestly. And, and honestly, and she, she knows it. it. It's ridiculous. It's just false hope. But yeah, anyway, that as a group of villains has to be my least favorite. I just don't understand what they were doing with that group, to be honest. Next up is going to be the Wolves. So uh, the Wolves is a very uh, interesting group. This was a group that was kind of built up for a little while during the second half of season five. Um, and basically in season six, they get kind of JSS. That is kind of their, their spotlight episode. But I am a little disappointed on how short their, you know, kind of time on the show was because they spent all this time building them up as villains. And then when they actually attack, yeah, it's great. It, like JSS, that Carol episode where she's going around killing all these like wolves, uh, that is one of the best episodes. But it's just that episode and then they're they're over. Like it, it's just weird. So um, I do like the concept of the wolves. I do. But I think they were very short lived and that's why I can't kind of, you know, put them any higher on the list. Uh, next up is going to be Joe and the Claimers. So um, yes, I do like the Claimers more than the wolves. Mainly because uh, Joe is an amazing character. I loved Joe as a character. I thought he was great. Um, the actor absolutely killed it. And honestly, um, that scene when Rick bites his like throat out, I just, man, su such a memorable moment. Um, and in particular, because that is the scene that just makes Rick completely lose his mind, um, you know, in that scene and just go at it, you know. And I think that they did make an impact mentally on Rick and Carl and Michonne and Daryl as well, too. Um, the wolves just attacked and they were dead and this and that. But this group, mentally, they got to Rick, too. They got to a lot of our characters with what they did that night. Um, and it's just crazy, too. And then they started beating up Daryl just because he wouldn't go along with, you know, killing Rick. It's just... I don't know. I thought they made a little bit more of an impact for me personally when I go back and watch it. Um, I just, yeah. And then, like I said, Joe is a character I really enjoyed. Uh, I, I really did enjoy his character a lot. Next one up is going to be the Terminus group. So uh, this one, of course, is a huge group. I mean, they are definitely a scary group of villains. And um, I would have to say they are a very, you know, intimidating group. They definitely come in as, you know, a very creepy, you know, group of characters. Um, and uh, I really do like a lot of what they do with them. The only problem that's kind of holding them back is how short you live they were 
but they're still going to be, you know, still, a, you know, a, somebody that's, you know, definitely worth mentioning because uh, the Terminus group was absolutely insane. Honestly, uh, what they did, you know, not only with Terminus leading people there and, you know, trapping them in and stuff like that, but also what they did with Bob, what they did, like just what they did that, like just that whole thing. Um, and they would have done it to anybody, as they said to Rick. I just think they are, they have completely gone to somewhere else, like, mentally. And, um, it's just, I don't know, like, it, they're, cr they're crazy, honestly. And they are an absolutely amazing group of villains. Next up is going to be Negan and the Saviors. So, uh, I'm gonna put them still higher than, uh, the Termites, just because, uh, I, I feel like with Negan and the Saviors, uh, there's just more of kind of, uh, they, they've been around for longer, and also Negan is, you know, just a, a super fun villain. But, I do have my problems with the Saviors as well, too, though. Uh, character just like Jared, Rapey Davey, uh, even Gavin at times, just some really weird characters in the Saviors group. And um, I just don't know how I feel about some of the characters and also just the amount of characters that are in the Saviors group. Um, it's just like the, the Saviors, like there's just like a lifetime supply of Saviors, seriously. Um, and I just don't understand what that is all about. But um, I still like Negan as a character and that's why I still am going to acknowledge it. But man, I mean, I really wish that the Saviors wouldn't have been so kind of like undefeatable and just a countless amount of people because after a while, Jerry season eight, it just got out of control. But... Um, I will definitely say one thing though, Negan, great character. I love Negan's character, but the saviors as villains and even Negan as a villain at times during the, the savior arc. Yeah, definitely kind of questionable. However, still a scary group and the amount of like, you know, impact they had on Rick's group is why they're still going to be kind of high, uh, high enough, you know, in this list. Definitely. So yeah. And then number two is going to be, uh, the governor. So, uh, the governor is a really great, uh, a great villain, uh, Woodbury and his group. Um, the reason why is mainly because of the governor. The governor is just such an insane villain. Um, he really just, just does not care. He does not care. You mess with him. He, he will kill you at some point. He will take you down. And honestly, the governor is just fully crazy. And he's the kind of villain we all enjoy because, um, Honestly, uh, the governor is uh, a character that I know a lot of people said the governor went on too long in the show. Uh, I would more so say that about like Negan and the savior storyline. I feel like the governor had a great amount of screen time in the show. And honestly, uh, his impact on the group is amazing. He has, you know, Merle as a lieutenant, which is insane. Um, and not only that, but he also just, he goes crazy. He literally guns down all of his people just because he's having a bad day. Like I just, I, I can't, like he's such a crazy guy and he's such a crazy villain. Um, and Woodbury as a community and you know, all the secrets they keep and stuff and how undercover they are at times. Um, it's crazy. It absolutely is. And then my favorite villain group in the Walking Dead series, I know this is going to be controversial, but this is the group I was the most kind of like terrified of and just like, oh my goodness, they are incredible, is the Whispers. So the Whispers are going to be my favorite villains in the TV series version. Um, maybe like Negan as a character is better. Maybe even sometimes the governor, whatever. But Alpha as a villain is insane. She, Samantha Morton, blows me away when she's on screen. And uh, Ryan Hurst as well. I mean, dude, this guy is amazing. And honestly, the Whispers group just brought something so much different than like we ever seen in the show. And honestly, from Evolution season, uh, season 9, episode 8, to season 10, episode 16, with the mask going off the cliff, that storyline is incredible. It really is. Yeah, sure, does it have a few slow parts in like the first half of season 10? Sure, but it's still incredible. The way they do it, it's so great. Um, and honestly, Alpha as a villain is like something we've never seen before. And in my opinion, she just went above and beyond the comic version and she just knocked it out of the park, honestly. So, um, and they just, they're so creepy. They are so scary. And there are so many scenes of the whispers that I can go back and watch and just get chills because they are just so amazing. They're such a great group of villains. And honestly, I, I am going to miss them in the show because they brought something different to the show that we've never seen. So anyway, that is my worst to best villains of the series. Yeah, definitely there's some like Shane or maybe some others that I've left out, but um, that is basically the list. That is the list, you know, kind of as a whole, you know, what are my favorite villain groups? I'm going to say the Whispers, honestly, at least right now, um, unless maybe they, they bring other Whispers in the additional episodes and then they kind of ruin the ending of the Whispers. Um, maybe it could influence it, maybe a bit, but I don't know. The Whispers were just absolutely incredible uh, and they are at this moment my favorite villain the Walking Dead is done and probably will ever uh, you know ever do uh, at least depending on how uh, season 11 goes so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching the video write your comments in the comment section below let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite villain group thank you guys so much for watching the video write your comments in the comment section below if you guys are new here click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my Walking Dead videos follow dance work reviews on Instagram guys and of course I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out